hi guys welcome back to another video of mine as you guys may tell by the title of this video i'm gonna be doing this look that you guys see right here i remember last year i did also another valentine's makeup look so i really wanted to do one for this year as well so this was the look that i did for today and yeah if you guys want to know more of how i accomplished this look then this is the way to put you guys a picture around here of how i got inspired by that look so um right now i only gonna be trying to use two palettes so the first palette i'm gonna be using is my modern renaissance because i feel like it has like a lot of of the, like the pink tones i'm kind of going in for and then i am also gonna be using my morphe palette this is the 35v so it does have some pink shades and blue shades on this can see it so i'm gonna try to be playing with those two um i'm, I'm gonna see how that is gonna work so these are my these are like all my eye um brushes so i'm gonna be trying to get the one the smallest ones that i have so it can be good enough to do the little details so um so the first um brushes that i'm gonna be using are these three brushes morphe um brush it's like a little circle like a little circle-y um brush and the second one i'm gonna be using is this bh cosmetic brush number 10 and it's quite similar to um the morphe one and i feel like it's a little bit more circled so i feel like it will also help me kind of blend out the darker shades this is the other um morphe brush that i'm gonna be using it's like this little um flat little brush and that is i'm planning to use this one um to apply the shape so as i'm gonna be doing my eyes i'm gonna be zooming you guys in so just hold on to that so i'm gonna start by using my um, anastasia um palette and i'm gonna be using this one right here so kind of nervous i've never done this so we'll just hope it goes well so. So far, this is how it's kind of looking like. I'm trying my best to make it look nice. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. So, so far I have the line. So I'm gonna be doing my best to do the little heart shape. So, wish me luck. <laughs> so, I cut up a little piece of paper in a shape part. So, I'm gonna just try to put it on top and then just blend it from the other side. And, um, yeah. Oh my god. So, I'm gonna be using this little um, pinza. And I'm just gonna be applying it with it. That way, it can stick. And I try to put a little bit lash glue. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't stay. Um, okay. I'm gonna just have to press it as um, applying it. conceal it from the inside so i'm not really trying to stress a lot with the shape so i was able to get this little smart brush from morphe and i'm gonna be trying to do it with this brush i'm gonna be trying to clean my heart shape with this brush and it's from morphe it's like a highlighter um part so i'm gonna be using that to kind of do the little heart shape from the inside and from so i'm gonna be going in with this brush that i have i i don't think it has a brand but 
it's like this kind of C version going on so I'm gonna be using that to cut my crease so I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of concealer and just using that to do the, the shape I already cut the crease, so I'm just gonna be blending the concealer and just kind of cutting it. And um, yeah. So now that I already put um, the setting powder on the concealer, I'm gonna be grabbing a tape and I'm gonna be doing the eyeliner. I am not good at lining my eyeliner, so that's why I'm gonna be using some tape. So, oh, I think I did it too much. Um, okay so i'm gonna be trying to kind of connect through my eyelids and also the crease shape so i'm gonna be going with the same brush i did my color shape and i'm gonna be applying the liner Okay guys, so that is how my eye look kind of came out. Um, I kind of like it. I think I did a good job. <laughs> Based on it's like my first time kind of doing it. So I'm gonna get my face ready. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do that. So the first, my primer. Um, so I'm gonna be using Tarte Tape Base this time. And um, yeah. Like to go in with this brush and just apply some um, setting powder. Um, I try to put a little bit, not a lot, so it can like set my face. And pretty much this just helps me have like a better um, like makeup um, quality. I try to brush it all over my face, and also it kind of helps me like not make my makeup so so greasy especially that my face is so oily i'm gonna be going in with my foundation so i'm gonna be using this one for today born this way and it's in the shade natural beige so um yeah and i'm gonna be going i always apply with a little um brush thingy and then i just like to apply in my face especially because it's like a pump type so This is so blendable too which i really like so i'm gonna just be going in with my sponge and i'll we'll just be blending that out so now that i apply my foundation i'm gonna be going in with my concealer so i'm gonna be using the elf concealer and it's in the shade medium sand and the way i apply it is i apply a little bit in the inner corner and then like by the nose area and then just like upwards that is just how i apply it and then i'll be just blending this out so. so first i want to apologize that i switched to voiceover but pretty much i'm gonna be using that concealer for my elf um and i'm gonna be using it as my bronzer and i'm gonna just apply it and then blend it so after applying my liquid bronzer i'm gonna be going in with my glossy a liquid blush in the shade in the shade storm <laughs> After applying my liquid blush, I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia setting powder and with my BH Cosmetic um, brush in number 4. And I'm going to be using that brush to set my face. For my powder bronzer, I'm going to be using my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rich Amber and um, yeah. I'm also going to be applying my bronzer with my angle brush from Morphe and I really love to use it, it's one of my favorites and yeah.
For my powder blush, I'm going to be using my Will powder in the shade Stamina. And I also like to apply it with my Morphe brush. It looks something like that. I don't know what's the name of it, but it looks kind of flat. And I really like to apply it with that brush because it's just so good, like how it applies itself. So, yeah. So for my highlighter, I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia and Amerzi highlighter. It's one of my favorites. Um, I always like to use it at all times. It's just so good. And I'm going to be using it with my Morphe highlighter. Now, I don't know what's the name or the number um, because it came in one of my collections. Um, but yeah. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using my eye color, obviously, and I'm also going to be using my Glossy A Mascara, and um, yeah, those are like the first things I apply before my fake eyelashes, so yeah. My falsies, I'm going to be using my Dodo Lashes in style D329. It's one of my favorites for sure. For my lash glue, I'm going to be going in for my fine ass lash glue. I really like it because it's very, very resistible. And yeah. For my lip liner, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Spiffy and it's one of my favorites. It's like a bound nude and um, you guys can tell it's already been used quite a lot, um, but yeah. For my first lipstick, I'm going to be going in with my MAC lipstick in the shade Bronx and it's also one of my favorite go-to lipstick. It's like a pink nude and um, yeah. For my second um, lipstick, I'm gonna be using my Dose of Color Liquid Lipstick in the shade Let's Cuddle and it's also one of my favorites. It's like a light um, nude and I like to apply that like in the middle of my lips and um, I like to blend it out with also my Morphe brush um, it's kind of like this little angled brush and doesn't have a name either but I really like to apply it because it really goes in depth of my lips shape and it also blends out really really quickly so yeah Lastly, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe setting spray and that is one of my favorite setting spray. It literally feels like it's a hairspray and like when you apply it, it doesn't feel like you're applying a lot, but it really is. So. And also the smell of it is just so amazing. It's amazing. I love it. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and how I got this look. I definitely feel so proud of myself that it kind of came out really good. I wasn't expecting it to come out like, you know, good because it's my it was my first time doing a makeup like this. And I know I've been seeing it everywhere on Instagram. So I definitely wanted to recreate it for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!